We've got another new game for an old console today that we're going to have a look at. It is Super Tilt Pro for the NES. This was kickstarted back in May 2023, so a bit over a year ago. It arrived today. We're going to have a look at it and we'll look at some gameplay a bit later on. The really interesting thing about this game and why I backed the Kickstarter is it is an online enabled NES game. They somehow fit in a wireless like Wi-Fi device inside of the NES cartridge to make it connect to the internet and be able to play online with other people, which is pretty amazing to connect a NES game to the internet. So it's like uh, kind of a Smash Bros style uh, platform fighter and um, it has a story mode and stuff as well that you can play through I think. Um, so yeah, new platform fighting game for the NES. So it's got deep gameplay. Um, it's made by a French developer which is, got, which is why it's got French on it. Um, and says here, thanks to a Wi-Fi chip in the cart, Super Tilt Pro is the first game to seamlessly connect your NES to the web. Matchmaking, updates, community, crossplay, rollback, it just works. You, uh, you get what you expect from a game in 2024. So that's going to be really cool to give a try. The thing I'm not sure about is compatibility between a like American NES and a PAL NES, especially the Mattel version of the NES which I've got. Um, about two years ago I got this one here which is uh, Garbage Pail Kids for the NES. Um, I think it was IM8 bit put that out about two years ago. That's that works just fine with the Mattel version of the NES, but it is a bit slower than the American one. Or at least the music is. I'm not sure if the gameplay is uh, slower. So that'll be one interesting thing to try. But before we have a look at that, it came with this as well. So it's developed by Broke Studio. It looks like they've made, or at least worked on, a bunch of other old or new games for old consoles like the NES, Game Boy, Mega Drive. Um, some more NES and Famicom games. And so that's pretty cool. I like how people are working on new stuff for old systems. Like how just recently I made a video about Night Trap for Game Boy Advance. I also have a video about Garbage Pail Kids if you want to look at that. So we'll open this up because I haven't opened it yet. It's always good to open a new game, especially... Oh, it's got a blue cartridge. And it's in a sleeve. And it's got a manual. That could be important. Super Tilt Pro in a really nice blue cartridge. And one of those sleeves which it's handy. It looks really cool. It's kind of similar. Kind of like the solid blue more than this transparent blue that Garbage Pail Kids did. Let's just say caution, this cartridge works on both PAL and NTSC systems. If the game does not start and the power LED is blinking, press the reset button four to six times until the LED stops flashing. Okay. I remember to start with I had a lot of trouble getting Garbage Pail Kids working on this NAS, but it was just kind of dirty contacts and it worked eventually. Just a spacer. So what is this? Instructions on how to connect the, to the Wi-Fi. 
worry about that later. And instructions, if that's going to be focusing, hopefully. So you are reading the manual, wise choice. In a short time you'll be introduced to the game's universe mechanics. Um, Alright. Let's get the moving and special and attack. It's a bit interesting to play because I don't really play Smash Bros. But something like this will be Really cool, I think. Got a bunch of different characters and local or online or story modes. I'll probably have to play the story mode to start with to just to get the feel of actually playing it. <laughs> Fun console, super cool, yeah. And um, I've got a friend who also backed the Kickstarter, and his copy arrived just recently, so we'll be able to try playing together and see what works. And it's supposed to have matchmaking as well, but I'm not sure how many people are playing. And I think they've released just a ROM version that you can play in an emulator that might also be compatible or something, but I'll have to see more information about that. But yeah. That'll be enough looking at this for now, and then I'll be back once I've actually played it. Right, well, this is the game running. I've played it for a while so far, and I've kind of worked out how to play it, except I'm still not very good at it. So there's the story mode, which is kind of like a tutorial, and also you can use it as like a speed running thing to see how quickly you can do it. It's the online mode and the local multiplayer mode do the story mode, or at least try to do some of it. I have managed to get through this once, but it's kind of hard when you're not very good at the game, so there's like... It's, it's just to show you how to jump, because like this character has like a double jump, and then you can do the up attack to jump higher. There's like these little story bits and then so you have to fight yourself to start with, which this character is not very hard to defeat. Um, that was even easier than it usually is. And then you have to like break these little target things. Which some of them are kind of pretty tricky to reach, like that whoops. Didn't mean to do that. The one up in the top. Up left is I don't know if I can remember how to do this properly. Not like that. Okay, that's one way to do it, except I can never work out how to do it properly. And then this character is a little bit harder. died and then the other character fell off the edge so I managed to get through it anyway. Whoops. Now this character I have a lot of trouble trying to defeat.
Okay, after many attempts I finally managed to defeat that one. That took an extremely long time. pretty easy as well. And then this is towards the end when you have to fight three... Um, you have to defeat him three times and if you die you have to start back at this level again. It's just a flat... Did I survive? No. Okay, well you get the idea on what the story mode is like. We'll have a look at some of the other modes. So there's the local mode. Um, you can choose between these different characters. Um, go random, I guess. There's the different levels you can choose between. So that was just a uh, one round, so that was good. And then, um, with the online mode, we've got like casual, ranked, private, where you can just play with a friend with a code, and settings, which is where you can connect to Wi-Fi on your NAS. So there's my Wi-Fi. Um, you can just go casual, and theoretically there's a chance of finding one do someone randomly, there's either North America or Europe servers, um, and then it will calculate your ping. Me being in Australia, the ping is pretty bad. This section here I pre-recorded. I was playing with my friend over in Sydney who bought the game as well, and so um, we're gonna play a bunch of matches here, or at least I've edited them down to something a bit more watchable. Um, we're on opposite sides of the country. His ping is a little bit better than mine. I was usually getting about 260 and he was usually getting about 230. So the game is a bit laggy playing online with American servers. Um, it's definitely not as smooth as um, just playing locally but it's still pretty amazing that you can play online with the nest like this. It was really fun. We played it for maybe an hour and a half, just different matches over and over, trying different characters and different levels. It takes a little bit to get used to how well the characters play, but once you get good at it, um, yeah, it gets pretty fun. And the lag online wasn't too bad.
this level here I didn't like very much. It's hard to actually stay on the platforms. The character that could make their own platforms, that would kind of work better. Because you can just like make a little platform to stand on if you're falling down and then jump back up again. But these other characters are not very well suited to it. That red character can make like a little um, point where you can fly back to. This is the character that can make platforms to stand on, which we'll see when you fall off the edge, you can make something to stand on. Like that. But overall the game is really good. I hope to play more of it online, but that's about it, so thanks for watching.